All right. So uh, here and welcome. I'm, uh, I said I'm Lucy Bakker, and I'm here to talk about C++ dependency management, the Mesin way. Uh, one thing which we have heard several times in this conference already for, uh, is that C++ really needs a package manager. And Bjarne has said this, this multiple times on multiple occasions. So, so Bjarne, if you're out there somewhere in cyberspace watching, this one is for you. So when you're using any sort of external dependencies, uh, you need to get it somehow. And there are usually three ways of getting that. Now, in Meson, we support all of these different ways transparently so that like the same build definition gets you all three. Um, most of the time, usually you don't need to do any definition. Sometimes you might. Uh, the first one is that when you're building, you also kill, call your dependencies build system, which is like make or, or cargo or CMake or auto tools or whatever. Uh, and this kind of works, uh, but it only works for simple cases. And, and it's extremely fragile because you have two things competing and things can fail in interesting ways. The second way is that you can have dependencies come from the system somehow. This is the traditional Linux way of doing things when you install things via dpackage. Uh, this is extremely convenient when it works. You don't have to compile your dependencies, and, and other people have done the Q&A. It's really nice. Uh, but there are many cases where this doesn't work or you, or you can't actually use it. But then there are other cases where you must use it like due to regulatory reasons. Uh, the third way is that you have sort of a monorepo where you take all of your dependencies, put them in a one single build system, and can, like, convert all the build systems that are there and then you just build them as it was your own code. This is highly convenient. Um, the problem is that your favorite dependency probably won't build with your favorite build system, so you have to do this work. And everyone has to do the work again to get things working. So uh, in Meson, what we do is that we have devised a way of converting the third kind of dependencies, uh, the second kind of dependency, the third one. So there's this service called wrap database. Basically, what it does is that there, there are dependencies which have links to the upstream source tarballs, and then you have a patch of, of the Meson build files that you need to build it and use it as a dependency. And then you can just download these uh, transparently. Um, so let's, let's do an example. We have an SDL2 application, use some graphics, play some sound. Let's see how that would work. Uh, so on a Raspberry Pi, uh, you just install this build too, and then you run the thing, and it just builds the whole thing, and the links and everything works. As you can tell, till here, it has found the system dependencies. Then if you are on Windows, what happens is that it automatically downloads the dependencies for you. So here we can see uh, at the bottom is that it's downloading SDL2 uh, from uh, SDL upstream, and then the additional patch on top of that, so you could build it as a sub-project, because SDL2 doesn't have Mesen build files by default. And here it is running on Windows, like as you can tell, the massive graphical output. Um, and there's also sound, but it's not, not in this picture. So it works on all three platforms and, and others as well. Now, this all seems quite nice, but I, I know what you're thinking. So could we reduce this massive amount of information into a single number? And turns out that the answer is yes, we can. And that number is actually 33. And 33 is the number of lines in the build definition for this project. So this 33 lines of code does everything. It, it does the build, it builds with the graphics, it does all the dependency, it downloads all the things, and that's all you need to write. And that's, that's uh, a bit convenient. So this is, this is our way of, of solving, solving or one way of, of solving the dependency problem. And it works today. You can, you can already download things. You can install things with one command. It's, it's fairly convenient. And anyone, everyone is, is welcome to submit their own, own things into the, the wrap database so it gets more and more things. Um, and then as a, as a, like a commercial puff piece, uh, there's also this thing called a manual for the, the Meson build system, which you can buy online. And if you use the discount code CPCon2020, you will get five euros off the price. And this offer is valid for one week. Um, but that's, that's my talk, and I'll give the stage to the next person. Thank you.